talking today is about what has happened with the property of Erwin Montessori School. It was damaged several years ago with our tornado, but it has now been allowed to become a truck stop trash hole, for lack of a better word. Um, I drive by daily, and I'm not talking about one or two trucks. I'm talking about four 18-wheelers stacked up in there on a regular basis. And the only way that they can know that that's a safe place is if nobody has stopped them yet. And it's annoying because last week, my tipping point was the Amazon truck. Amazon is in Kernersville. Or in Montessori schools, nowhere near the highway, not a major throwaway. So somebody had to have said, oh yeah, we've been parking there for years. It's safe and nobody does anything. I've called, 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 been passed from person to person to person. Um, yeah, and told that's not my department or I don't know, or I just don't get a phone call back. If I wanted to live around a truck stop and some of the very unsavory things that come along with truck stops, um, I'll leave that to most adults imagination. Um, I would move to Whitson around the corner from the flying J. Um, and I'm tired and tired and tired of Greensboro and Guilford County forgetting that Greensboro extends beyond Elm Street, beyond ANT, beyond 29. We're already fighting a food desert. This is a building that y'all have. I understand you couldn't get out there the next morning and fix it. There's six groundbreakings in the past month. We lost three schools. One was torn down. I'm assuming the other one's torn down and y'all just don't care about Earl Montessori School and what we have to see when we drive in and out of our neighborhood or around our neighborhood. There's a church across the street. They use that parking lot, never a problem. They come in on Sunday, go back out. Truck after truck after truck after truck. I addressed it with another lot that was owned by City of Greensboro. They took care of it in a matter of a couple hours. This has been going on and I hate to come here and stand up in front of everybody because this is not my area of expertise, but I'm frustrated. I don't want to be a Karen. I used to like my name. I really don't like it anymore, but I felt I needed to come and be a Karen today. Um, our children shouldn't have to see just trucks sitting there. I've actually witnessed truck drivers get on city buses and go to their neighborhood and get off the city bus, hop in their rig and drive off. So that's my deal.